you know, it said, not only with bread man lives. Yeah, sure. When love's knocked at your door, when your heart is filled with it, then bread, food, everything else becomes so unimportant. Eat, drink, only love, like in movies and fairy tales. <laughs> I feel a marriage is coming. Maybe soon. We'll see you in a white dress. In your head, there is only marriage. Can't you think of something else, girl? Something else? Like what? I don't know. But something is missing. This isn't what I'm looking for. I feel there is something bigger waiting for me. You know, you take life very seriously. You worry a lot about many things. Just chill, girl. You cannot change the world. Look around you. Live like the others. You cannot save the world. Things around will change. The whole world will change. If only, if only through in our hearts, we have the desire, the world to change it. You dream a lot. That's your problem. But one has no dreams, has no life, and there is no sense of living. But ones have to be careful. Big dreams are hard to achieve. You know, it all begins here. When you believe in something, devote your life for it. You can't do the impossible. You can't reach the sky, and you can't Touch the moon. I know you, stubborn Kurdish girl. When you put something in your head, it will never get out. <coughs> and you, a delicate Baghdadi girl who thinks only about Nastalas. Nobody wants an argument with you. It's so wonder I even like you. I usually can't stand smart and good people. Why do I like you? I mean, do I like you? No matter if you do. But one day, I'll make you proud of me. Yeah, the girl who have changed the world. Or perhaps the girl who is destined to sacrifice herself. Honest, ma, I gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow. Leila, wait! What is it? I don't know. What do you mean? I just have this strange feeling. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Stay with me. Nisma, darling, I have many things to do. I have to go. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Wait. What is it? What if there is no tomorrow? Oh, I'm just worried that one day I will wake up and see you no more. Oh, what? If you ever separated, look up the sky. When you see a nice shining star, that will be me. That's how will you remember me. We are friends for so long. But I really can't understand you sometimes. One day, you will. One day, you will understand. Here is
is your tea, Leila. Thanks, mother. What is it, Leila? You seem to be worried about something. No, mother. It is just my essay, which I have to prepare. No paper, no work. Go to bed. Your sister just had a baby and she looks better than you. You look pale. And black circles under your eyes. You look very tired. Mother, I told you. I have to do a lot of homeworks. That's all. I hope you are not hiding anything from your mother. Of course not. What's wrong, mother? You look uncomfortable. I don't know. It's mother's heart. I have observed some unusual movement around our house. Some strange looking people. Haven't you noticed? It's over a week I've noted them following you all the way to our house. No, mother. You're just imagining it. Why they would follow me? That's what I'm really worried about. My heart is restless. Are you sure you don't have anything to tell me? Mother, everything is okay. You need not to be worried. Okay, then I will attend to your sister. Do you want me to get you something? No, thanks, mother.
What is it? Who are you? I think you know who we are. You're Leila Qasim? You have to come with us to the office. We have to ask you a few questions. A few questions? <laughs> right. I need some minutes. We do have some minutes. You have to come now. Oh God, Leila, they're going to take you. There must be some mistake. My child has done nothing wrong. She's just an innocent child. Well, this is what we are going to find out. All right, then take me instead. Mom, calm down. Woman, we don't want you. Swear to God, you won't take her. You won't take her. Mom, why are you begging them? Look at why they are taking me. I haven't bumped a bridge or set a bus on fire. I've committed no crime. Look what they have found. Nothing. They are taking me because I'm in love. I love my country and I believe in freedom of speech. There is no need to be them. I'll get my things. <laughs> you look like a queen, my child. Mother, where I'm going, it's not a prison. It's a place of honor. You should be proud that your daughter will reach the mountain top, where I can almost touch the moon. Don't worry, Mom. God willing, we'll see each other soon. Not tired yet? Try again. Describe your activities. We only need you to answer some questions. Then we can arrange your release. Listen, you are a young woman. Do not throw your life away following stupid slogans. So, they have told you to keep silent. We have many methods that would open up that mouth. You will confess yourself, or I will take you out and torture you more, this time slowly to your death. For a quick confession, we will go easier on you. Confess. You may live. You may receive mercy. Confess what? Don't play stupid. We know all about you. We followed up all your activities. You better cooperate. I only care about answers. And I want my answers. Answers about what? About your plans? 
about your sabotage activities. We want information, names. Give us names. I have no idea what you are talking about. I am just a woman in love with her country. Love. Love. Love enough to do anything for it? It's easy to sacrifice when you have a cause. I just use my freedom of speech, express my thoughts. I don't believe in guns. I believe in the power of words. Do you think a bunch of shepherds and farmers, those savages, can put our government in danger? We just want to live in peace, like we did before. Peace? <laughs> what peace? You are trying to urge the students to revolt against the government. Do you call that peace? Listen, you man. There is a limit to my patience. You can cooperate and give us what we want, or else you will scream them loud in great pain. The choice is yours. What answers? You come to our place, pulled me out of my home, have physically beaten me. What answer I can give? I need an answer. Why I am here? What have I done? You know what you have done? You raised slogans against the government. And you worked for Al-Mukharrabeen. I just used my freedom of speech. I just spoke in my beliefs. Freedom. Freedom? This word will take you to your death. You all deserve to die. You are Mukharrabeen. You rebel against the government. But who started the war? Who fired the Paris shell? You little bitch. Tell us what you know. What? What I can't tell you. Which country do you work for? Who supports your activities? Everyone in this country who asks for the human rights is a traitor and a spy of Israel? Fine. You refuse to cooperate. How about if he brings someone there to you? He is someone special to you. He got a good treatment from us and enjoyed our hospitality. Ela Qasim, this is Bewar Hamawandi. Do you have anything to say? I 
I don't know him. Really? He is not your lover and walk with you in the same group? I never met him before. then you don't mind to see him suffering? You don't mind watching him bleeding to death? What makes the people so sick, so full of hatred? Start the show and see how long before she breaks down. You don't know him? You don't have anything to say? Fine. Let's play another game. Look at her. She's in a good shape. And look at yourself. She denies you. Is she worth all the suffering? Who is this woman? Isn't she your beloved? Isn't she your group leader? Let go of my dress. Let go. It's time to go. Oh, let go. Let go. You bitch! Stop it! <coughs> She's my Leila. Your full name? Leila Qasim. You are here for the high treason conspiring for crimes. Crimes? Against whom? The government. Have you anything to say? If you can't call the love of the country treason and demanding our rights a crime, then I am guilty. What rights? You have no rights. You, savage people, the only thing you deserve is death. Kill me, but you must also know that after my death, thousands of cursed will wake up from their deep sleep. I'm happy that I will die with dignity and for an independent Kurdistan. You can go as many as you can, but you will not be able to take our freedom because we do exist. No matter what you do, no matter how many young people you bring into this room, how many work from us, we will grow more and more. We will become harder and stronger. Leila Qasim is just one woman, but there will be thousands of her life will come to life. My death will inspire many youngs. You just cannot kill us all. You 
can't annihilate a nation. Because this nation will never die. You will die. You will be forgotten down to the bottom of history. I will die with dignity. I'm looking death in the eyes. I will walk to my death with my head high, with pride. But history will repeat itself. One day, you will stand here on my place, and you will gather just of the people. You will have the same walk to the execution room, but with humiliation, crying for your life, crying for mercy. History will remember people like me and cares people like you. Pity, I can only hang you once. The court has decided that defendant Leila Qasem is sentenced to hang till death for conspiring against the revolution of the party. Ya Kurdistan, ya Naman! Ya Kurdistan, ya Naman! Ya Kurdistan, ya Naman! just received a letter from her. But she managed to smuggle it out of the prison. Baby, please read it for us. Okay. Dear Nesma, I don't know if this letter will ever get to your hands. If it does, I would like you to say hello for me to all the friends. I love you very much. I miss all of you. This might be our last communication. So I would wish the best for each one of you. I will have my wedding night soon. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to invite you to the ceremony. It's a pity you won't be around to help me out. Wearing my white dress, adjusting my hair. But I need your prayers for strength and hope and peace. I have recently written this short poem, which I like to dedicate to all of you. I am in my last days, counting every breath. They have sentenced me to death.